So far, are you? Uh, I don't know, like 10 episodes? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, so you're still in Orange Dominion. I know it's a little slow, but the next arc is so good. Oh, dude, Galaxy Vacation? Yeah. As soon as I watched Galaxy Vacation, I was like, oh man, I'm on board. It's easily top five arcs, although I really love Jump Rope Canyon. Jump Rope Canyon. It's so long, though. Yeah, I know, but the payoff is incredible at the end. Plus, it leads right into Soda Pop Frequency. That's not a real thing. You know what's underrated? What? Dog Five. Dude! Especially in the part where Benji couldn't fight. Oh, hey, hey, spoilers. I mean, I don't know who that is. Oh, man. He's great. What's great about Benji Kun is there's actually a really good filler arc with him. Did you ever watch Spade is Invulnerable? That is just words strung together. No, I skipped it. I'd say it's worth watching, and it also has some pretty decent foreshadowing for Jingleberry. Oh, Jingleberry. Poor Vegeta Lowe. Hey, spoilers! You know Vegeta Lowe? Uh, yeah. I mean, he was introduced in the, like, third episode. Well, uh, no spoilers, but <laughs> uh, let's uh, say uh, don't get uh, uh, too attached. <laughs> okay, so he, he dies there? <laughs> Okay. He does come back in Hotel Dusk, though. Okay, that's just a DS game. No, no, it's about like this. I'm not watching this fucking anime. You should read the manga! 